Let's talk about the film Speak No Evil, which is a remake of the 2022 Danish film Speak No Evil. Yes, in less than two years, we've gotten a remake. This is no mistake. Speak No Evil did not come out in 2012. It did not come out in 2002, 1992. It came out 2022, and the new film comes out 2024. So this is a film directed and written by James Watkins, starring James McAvoy, Mackenzie Davis, Eileen french Lee, as well as Scoot McNary and Dan Ho. And this one, I'm telling you, it is just an interesting thing that they are remaking this so quick. It comes under Jason Blum's Blumhouse. And what we see is a shot by shot almost of the original, which I think is superior. I'll just say that right now. But before we get into this film and all about its ending and its differences from the original, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We are on the road to 35,000 subscribers, less than 3,000 to go to get to that. We got a ton of things coming your way. Just got back from TIFF, so a ton of reviews, reactions from everything we saw. We already did one for The Substance, a review if you want to check it out, which comes out next week. But let's get into Speak No Evil. So pretty much what you saw in the original was a couple meets another couple. Both of the couples have a child and they're on vacation and they're all at a resort eventually the couples start to kind of bond connect and eventually we see that they are invited by one of the other couples to come out to their countryside estate and just relax have fun all that good stuff and then we see that things just start to spiral out of control when one of the couples turns out to be maniacs and that's all i'll say about the original i suggest you watch it if you want but i'm about to get into spoilers so if you don't want spoilers this is not the video for you i will have a review out this weekend so stay tuned but pretty much what we see here is a same type of scenario where we see the couple go out and this is the couple of louise and ben and their daughter agnes and then they meet this other couple of patty sierra and their young son ant who are vacationing in italy we eventually see that the other couple invites the other couple to come out to their state. And this, of course, is Patty and Sierra telling uh, Luis and Ben, hey, y'all should come out. I'm going to have fun, all of that, right? Like, it it'll be good. It'll be good. Decide, you know what? A change of scenery. It'll be good for Agnes, too, who's dealing with anxiety and is attached to her. You know, it's just like the original, like the rabbit plushie and all of that. Eventually, we see when they arrive to the farmhouse, things, it's going to be good, right? It's a farmhouse. It seems that things are going to be okay. But no, then the couple starts to change. They start to cross boundaries. Things start to become passive aggressive. And then we see that there's something really wrong with the way this other couple treats their son, Ant. And things are like, yeah, this is not the same couple we met. And I don't think that this seems like a good thing to do. Eventually leave the two kids with a sitter named Hujit. Of course, this is something that the Daltons don't really vibe with because they don't know who this person is and they're just leaving their daughter with them. But they don't want to be rude. They don't want to say anything that might offend them. So they go on with it. And this is just pretty much a beat for beat of the original right here. So what we eventually see is that all of these situations just happen like in the original, like the Patty and Sierra start to really get under the nerves of Luis and Ben. They start to wonder what exactly is going on here and they want to get out of here. They don't really feel that there's much that they can do and they try. They try to escape but we see that Agnes leaves her rabbit behind and they have to go back and get it and Patty and Sierra realize what has happened that they're leaving and they're just trying to apologize for everything and say for not they ask the Daltons to not judge them and if they can have another chance, they'll try to make it all good. So we see as things escalate and this is where the new movie kind of differs from the original because after Patty throws a mug at Ant, he takes Ant's keys and leads Agnes to a locked shed inside where he shows her all of these personal belongings that belong to various families, suitcases, all of that. And he explains to Agnes that Patty and Sierra are serial killers who lure families to their farmhouse, rob and kill them before cutting the tongue off their child and using them to assist in luring the next victims. Anne shows Agnes that this has happened to him and his family and that Patty and Sierra are intent on making the Daltons their next victim. So yeah, things are about to really escalate here. Now in the original film, we didn't see this happen at all. The young boy was never really able to tell the family what was going on and he eventually met his demise, but I'm not gonna go more further into it here. So what we eventually see is that Agnes is going to fake having a situation which is going to 
help her get close to Luis and Ben without having to sort of raise awareness to Patty and Sierra about what's going on. The family decides to leave and they try to contact the police as well to save Anne, but Patty and Sierra realize that they have figured out what's happened and they damage the Dalton's car so they can't escape and they delay everything around them. So they pretty much are like, yeah, you're not getting out of here. That's that's fine, all right? Patty then throws Ant into a pond and he knows that Ant can't swim so Ben has to go rescue him as Patty and Sierra capture the rest of the family. Patty and Sierra then force them to transfer all of their money and they are prepared to take them out and cut out Agnes' tongue. This is different from the original too because in the original they just pretty much take the young girl and there's like nothing the family can do and they cut out her tongue and that's eventually what happens there. We eventually see as Patty and Sierra and now their accomplice Mike are trying to hunt the family as they're all fleeing. We see as Luis manages to kill Mike and she actually is able to save Ben as they flee to the roof. Sierra then attacks but in she falls to her death and we see as the family is trying to escape but Patty's still around and holds Agnes at gunpoint. Agnes then however manages to inject Patty with a syringe of ketamine incapacitating him and leaving him on the floor as the family prepares to leave but Ben doesn't do anything to Patty as he's just laying there. But Ant approaches Patty and Patty seems excited. He says, that's my boy. He's proud. And we see as Ant beats Patty to death with a brick, screaming in rage as the Daltons and Ant leave the farmhouse. So this ending as well was different here because in the original, what we see happen is that their family doesn't make it. So Ant, the boy in the original, gets killed by the father at a... At the end of the film, he gets drowned. And then we see as the couple then take the young girl. They take her with her accomplice and they cut out the girl's tongue. Eventually, they take out the couple and then they stone them to death as they go and pick up their new daughter that doesn't have a tongue anymore and set out to do the same thing over and over. That's what happens in the original. But here we do have the uh, people surviving and avenging everything. So... That's pretty much the difference here. And so there's a lot of questions about why they did this. And the real thing is that, as they say in the original and this one, because you let them do it. So that's what the family tells the other family. We just did this because you kept letting us do it. And I think that that's just a way of showcasing that sometimes we're in scenarios where things don't feel right or things don't feel like they should be like this. But as the director of the original has said, and the writer is pretty much, this is a whole thing about our society. Sometimes we don't feel comfortable in certain situations but due to politeness and all of that we allow it to keep going we don't want to speak up because we don't want to be seen as a burden or as a party pooper things like that right so we continue to allow things to happen even though we know it's not right it doesn't feel right it's not good all of that so i thought that that was an interesting way to put it in the first original film and i think in the second one the sequel they do just the same and i think in this remake they do just the same of course it's a bit more heroic where the other one feels a bit more bleak or a lot more bleak because yeah everybody pretty much loses who was good and they thought that that makes it such an interesting watch because you're not expecting that right you expect the family to be able to survive but in the original everybody just loses except for the bad guys so i think that's why it's a much better film because it is something that you did not expect at all i will say that the flair here definitely has to be with ant being able to go forth with his life and being able to sort of put that behind him but of course how much can he even put behind as all of the trauma he has now from this two people so it's a very interesting story i will say if you haven't watched the original i still recommend it it's a lot darker a lot bleaker i think you'll enjoy it if you like a horror film that just doesn't hold back and really takes it there but overall, I think it's still one of the most decent remakes to films that we've seen in a while. It almost gives me let the right one in and let me in vibes because I thought both were great. And I think both do some different things. So I don't know. I'm OK with it. It wasn't as bad as many people were thinking it was going to be. And now we don't have to see the trailer over and over again. But let me know your thoughts and your opinions on the Speak No Evil remake. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it more than the original? And what do you think about it in the comments down below? As always, that's going to do it for me if you haven't already subscribed subscribe hit the notification bell 35,000 subscribers is the goal as always i'll see you next time stay safe stay positive